and welcome back to my channel. So recently I did a video about the grown Aries, the evolved Aries women and so many of you guys actually requested me to do a video about compatibility for an Aries woman. So here I am trying to tell you who you should be with or who you should date or who you should marry or who you should have as a friend. So let's begin. Well, in my humble opinion, you should not be with anybody. But since you asked, here it goes. Don't worry about this. I'm an introvert and this is the way I enjoy life. Before I start telling you what to do with your life, don't forget to watch this tutorial. It's up on my Facebook page called Lady Isha. I'll give you guys a link. You can watch this tutorial right there. Now let's start, shall we? So let's talk a little bit about the Aries woman. Well, she's fiery, she's passionate, she loves passion. Sometimes an Aries woman loves to debate. She loves a little bit of fight. She finds it sexy, you know why? Because after that, she gets the chance to really get a little vulnerable, let her guards down, come to say sorry, or even better, accept your sorry if she wants to, that is. But it gives her a chance to be a bit more soft right after the fight, that's true. That's how she functions. So if you think your Aries woman is getting a little bored of your ass, you know, what you can do, have a little bit of a debate with her. Like a healthy debate, you know, like adult type of fight, you know, just like normal arguments, whatever. Well, don't make it toxic or abusive because then she's gonna leave. Don't disrespect her. Uh -uh. Respect goes a long way for Aries women, so she receives it very well, but she also gives it quite nicely, okay? Have a little argument and she'll be fine. She will like you a little more after that. Can you relate? <laughs> Since she's so fiery, she loves a healthy argument. She cannot go well with a water sign. She is a highly intelligent, a highly intuitive person. She wants somebody who is equally, or if not more intelligent than her actually, you know. She admires people who are intelligent. Aries women cannot stand if you are a thick-minded person, if you don't have common sense, if you don't have basic human skills that you need, you're out. She, no, she's not gonna put up with you, not at all. So who should she be with? Hmm. Again, in my humble opinion, as I said, I don't think she should be with anybody. But, since you ask, she should better go with an earth sign. Or maybe even another fire sign. Because she has that energy to keep up with those people, okay? I'm not gonna put a curse on you guys and tell a water sign lady to be with a fire sign because that's a disaster. That's like a tornado. No, no, no. Aries women? can handle those people. Oh yeah, because she has like the same sort of qualities, so she knows how to deal with it. I would suggest for her to go for another fire sign or even better, an earth sign. Now, the reason is when Aries woman is evolved and grown, she becomes a bit more feminine with time. She gets back into her own laid back energy quite a lot. And we are not talking about the young and dumb Aries girl who is probably 16. No, did I just call her dumb? Because if she's listening to this, she's going to feel disrespected. I'm sorry. My humble apologies. Let's move forward. So, a grown Aries woman is quite evolved. She's wise. She's intelligent. She's certainly not dumb. Yes, she has a little childlike, innocent persona. But she's super intuitive. And that helps her go through life with the protective shield that she needs from her own self. Mind you. She hardly ever needs protection from anybody else, but she adores it though. So even if she seems very independent, please still give her that protection because she genuinely admires it. She might not be able to show that to you. You might not be able to see that on her personality, but this is what she truly values and appreciates. She's very well a homely person who loves family. She's very emotional, so she loves family the most. No question about that. If she's with an earth sign, the good thing is, earth signs are really good at being the providers. You know, Virgos and Tauruses, they love providing, don't they? And that is good for an evolved Aries woman, because she adores being taken care of. Even if she's not hypergamous, she still adores being taken care of. When she's in touch with her femininity, she's actually a highly attractive, very laid back, super feminine and very sexy person. And she likes to feel like she's the girly girl. But she cannot feel like this most of the time if she's dealing with somebody 
I just cannot give her anything. So that doesn't let her bring out the best in her. Does that make sense? So in order for her to be a bit more happy later in life and really bring out that inner energy and the flow and the glow, she needs to be with somebody who is a provider, even though she's very independent, but she appreciates gentle, kind, generous, and charitable people. That is just how she is. That is what she represents as a person herself also. If you ask an Aries woman, chances are she's probably very, very independent. She has things going on. She's super energetic. She has a life and she's charitable too. And if you as a man are not all of those things, she's gonna disregard you just like this. She doesn't care. You need to be on that level too, if not. In fact, be a little higher actually and she's going to appreciate that a lot more. And it's going to bring out the best in her too. And she's gonna flourish and be happier and allow herself to be that mom that she wants to be, be that wife that she wants to be, be that girlfriend that she wants to be. She has to be with a manly person who is the provider type of guy, you know. And mostly, if we look into the zodiac signs, now this is just for entertainment purpose only, okay? But let's be real. Earth signs and fire signs are usually the guys who are the providers, they protect their family, they stand with their family, they fight for their family, they're very, very possessive about their families, and they provide for their families. And what better than that? And Aries women actually quite likes that. Oh, she does. Again, we are not talking about the young, silly, little Aries. We're talking about the evolved Aries because it's two different things. It's two different things. If you want to see about the evolved Aries women, about 30, then watch my previous video about Aries women. All you need to know about an Aries women is mentioned in that video, okay? And today we're talking about compatibilities a little bit. If she's with, let's say, Pisces or Cancer, she's not a happy person she's gonna be walking on eggshells because it's gonna be a little confusing for her. And Aries women does not do very well with confusions. She hates being confused. With cancers being so emotional like they are, she is just gonna feel so overwhelmed and so confused and one day she's happy and the next day it's turbulent. She just doesn't understand what she's doing and which airline is she flying in because it's confusing for her. And then same with Pisces. Pisces sometimes, the thing is, these water signs can be emotionally very manipulative and Aries is a bit more practical. Yes, she's emotional, but because she's emotional, she has that emotional intelligence which is built with time. And now since we're talking about evolved Aries women, now she cannot be manipulated with your emotional bullshit. Nah, I don't want to be demonetized here, so let's just say BS. <laughs> Cancer might also find her a little materialistic, even though Aries is not a materialistic sign. If you want to know about the most materialistic signs, they're usually Taurus and Virgo. The Earth signs, they are actually very materialistic. But it serves if it's a man. It serves if it's a man, because then he's the provider for the Aries women. And that goes along very well. She actually excites people quite a lot because she has that energy, the flow, the glow and people actually find her very intriguing and very exciting and very intelligent and super intimidating sometimes. So yes, it has to be again, what? A big provider type of guy who has that manly persona to him and earth signs are actually very very masculine yes they have a lot of feminine energy but it's quite balanced so on the appearance and on the surface they actually appear to be very very masculine which is actually quite appreciable okay let's just appreciate that and same with the fire signs fire men let's say leo is actually a perfect match for aries they say and yes well they're kind of best friends if you are an aries and you meet a leo you're gonna click like this like you know like this like in one second there you go like this isn't that great well that's another problem that leo men just love to get all the attention and Aries is gonna just feel like she is like just a second citizen here living with this person it's all about him he's like a superstar and i'm just like the personal assistant or something like this you know so she's gonna feel quite like that but for the most part it's still better than for her to be with somebody like an air sign maybe or the worst water sign. Mm -mm. She cannot deal with Pisces and Cancer and stuff. No, 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 no. It's difficult. It's difficult. And also if she's an Aries who's very feminine and girly and ladylike, she won't be able to appreciate Pisces. She won't be even able to appreciate Aquarius too much, let's say, because Aquarius then comes with so much discipline, with so much principles, with so many rules. She is a free bird and that is going to be a problem for her too. 
so she needs somebody who is a little intelligent who has independence who can also allow her her own time and independence but at the same time have trust on each other because the foundation is the same what is the foundation they love family they love to nurture their emotional beings yes somewhat free-spirited but still very homely and very grounded too so i would suggest for an aries to actually go ahead and go 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 with some fire sign you won't regret for the most part okay yes it might hurt a little because yes you will have those arguments but don't you thrive on that don't you <laughs> you want to know about libras they are literally the opposite signs it's gonna burn out real fast she's not gonna be that happy and he might not be as happy too Oh, he's gonna find her very intriguing, very interesting, very exciting, and it's gonna burn him out. Mm -mm. They can't handle fire. And she can't handle his indecisiveness, his need for balance 24 seven. Mm -mm. She won't be able to, it's too difficult. And are Libras mostly the providers? Well, Libra guys most of the time are not really the provider type of guys. So if you are like a woman who, you know, appreciate somebody who, who is the provider, then uh, Libra is a little 50-50 on that scene, you know? So if you are the hypergamous women, you might not be able to appreciate a Libra because as I said, they stand like 50-50 somewhere in the middle. They sometimes like to date women who are the providers for them and not the other way around. So it doesn't work, does it? And yes, mind you, I'm talking about the Aries women right now, but at the same time, the one who's also her pergamus. Because most of them at the end do turn out to be like that. They're very high pergamus. Most of them. Some of them are still confused. Some of them might still want to be like the Miss Little Independent who doesn't need nobody with her. But deep down, she, does, she can't lie to herself. Deep down, she does value family quite a lot but because Aries has always been so emotional the reason she is like that still could be because she growing up never had like that loving kind family and so that gave her like really deep trust issues which is why as she's walking around town alone singing the Miss Independent song with an American flag but not really settling down because she's been hurt she just doesn't feel she can trust the process she just she's just kind of like a loner somehow but still wanting it but also rejecting it at the same time so she's like in the middle back and forth back and forth can't decide no problem one day she will she will one day and i can tell you most of the time she's going to turn out to be the hypergamous woman so yeah which is why you will hear me talk about hypergamy right here in, on my videos most of the time because i think that is also like the subject overall for this channel so subscribe to the channel <laughs> i know i look like i'm going to a wedding but that is the tutorial that i did today and yes the look was for a wedding so i have given you guys a link to the page where you can see the tutorial for this wedding glam pink makeup look okay and i'm wearing my like asian attire today how do you like it um it's my word that if you guys want to know it's 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 in Islamabad, Centaurus uh, and the brand was Verda and I got this a few years ago I still have it because I've worn it only two times and today I really wanted to create like a look with this and for those of you also always ask me if I wear wigs no guys this is not a wig this is all my own real hair well the product that I use you guys know I'm always raving about my own products I use the glam growth hair oil so visit ishacosmetics.com and you get 30% off throughout November just use the code NOV30 and you will save 30% on our hair oils if you have hair fall problems dandruff itchy scalp or thinning of hair or even bald spots this is the oil that you need well I have a sample bottle with me right here it looks like this it doesn't have the label on it but this is not the bottle you get okay yeah, yeah well it looks like this obviously with the label and everything but this is the glam growth hair oil you're gonna love this product and thank me later for this hmm? if you guys want to add some thickness and fullness to your hair and stop your hair fall this is what you need and especially if you treat your hair quite a lot and dye your hair quite a lot which i always do then this is exactly what you need look nowhere else you're not gonna regret i promise you that much okay now let's move forward let's get back into the videos about the aries women hmm well having great hair and looking great helps the aries women quite a lot i tell you that much people are always intrigued because she's intelligent but she's also good looking yeah and with time she just learns how to groom herself even more and I can tell you most of the Aries women that I've ever seen or researched about 
they really know their side of masculinity as well as their femininity and they have this blessing where they can just switch on whatever energy they like to be in so if let's say an Aries is at work it's gonna be a completely different person you're gonna be like is that the same lady I saw last night wow she knows how to switch on the masculinity at work and then when you see her just casually she's a very laid-back random fun chill she's a girl's girl she's a friend's friend person you know she, she loves friends and she's gonna be like the most caring person and you will be quite surprised and a little intimidated too I'm still thinking what more points we could talk about well do Aries go well with other Aries people that's an interesting question because I would say 50 50 you know why even though yes Aries is fire too so as I said, yes, deal with a fire sign, it's better for you. Especially if you don't have Pergamus women, go for fire and earth signs, guys. They're going to be protective, a little possessive, so you have to deal with that. But they're going to be the provider type of guys, okay? So always just ask them their star sign. It's kind of important. Now that you've seen this video, always do that, okay? <laughs> but still, Aries dealing with an Aries guy, okay. Well, you know what? Just go for the Leo, trust me. Because... You guys are so similar, you can clash sometimes and you guys know each other so well being Aries on both sides. It's mm -mm. still good though. If you have Pergamus, that's what you're looking for. Okay, good. However, hmm, there's a little bit more complications. But Aries and Aries also actually work quite well. They work well. It's just because they're so similar, sometimes it could just get a little bit boring for her. But because they're both not boring people. But one just never gives up. And the other just never apologizes. So these are the main problems that an Aries and an Aries will always face and always suffer with this. And always it's just always the main problem they have. It's, it's always going to stay the same, you know. With a Leo, let's say, they will still apologize somewhere here and there. Okay, yeah. They're a bit more considerate towards you. Okay. Aries won't. And with the earth signs, well, yes, they could be very stubborn too. Oh, when it comes to apologizing, they might not know what to do really. But you know what? I found out one thing about earth signs, they're trained so well and earth sign knows how to manage a woman no matter what star sign she is. Oh, they know. They know. They have a very deep, rooted kind of feminine side to them which helps them to ob observe and uh, recognize a lot of things and realize a lot of things about women. Which is why they always grow up to be like this gentleman and just so nice and kind and they kiss your hand and they they hug you so gently and they're so gentle, you know. They have learned these things and mastered these things ever since they were a child. So don't be fooled though. They know what they're doing. Oh, they know they're charming. They know. They know you like it. They know you like when they're opening the door for you and they know you like it when they're the ones paying for the food when they take you out and stuff. They know it. They know. They like to provide for the girls though, you know. They, they like to just make them happy. It excites them. They, they love it. Oh, they love it. They want to be the provider, the giver, you know. And that's a nice thing. That's a nice thing. They're also very, very possessive. So be alert. Very possessive. If they accept you, you're like a property to them. So, and let's say Taurus, we're both very, very materialistic signs. So yeah, when they own you, you are a property. You're just another asset. Well, at least not a liability. It's you're still considered an asset. Don't worry about that but it's still property. Does that make sense? So always be aware of that when you're dealing with an earth sign. But as I said, earth signs are so good and nicely trained in that department. They will always say sorry, even if they know they're not even wrong. You know why? Let's just go for food. That's what earth signs are gonna say to you. Let's, let's just go food. Oh, oh, did that happen yesterday? I'm so, I'm, so, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. They wouldn't even remember half the things anyway. And even if they do, they don't want to continue the fight. They just don't like to confront nothing, nothing. They don't want confrontation, no matter what, 0% confrontation, please. That's the policy they come with. So as soon as you confront, you're always going to hear a sorry. Whether they mean it or not, well, that's another question. But you'll get the sorries all the time, all the time. Your Taurus and your Virgo is always going to apologize to you 24 seven. But the thing is, the Aries woman kind of likes it too, so it's okay. It's okay, she can just get along with that. That's fine, that's fine, you know. She, she knows she's gonna get a gift later on, so it's, it's fine, she forgives, okay. Well, he apologized very sweetly. Uh, he took her out, okay. They went out for dinner and a nice place. And he's also given her a gift now, so she, she's fine. They know how to do this. Very good for her Pergamus women, as I said, you know. So guys, 
this was the video about who you should go for as an Aries or if you're just to have pregnant women you should go for earth signs or fire signs I hope this video helps don't forget to subscribe to the channel every single video of mine in the description has all the links to all the things that I've mentioned to the makeup as well to the equipment also as well as for my group if you like to join our ladies only society guys please join my Facebook group community which is called level up society by Lady Asia also do follow me on Instagram which is Lady Asia do subscribe to this channel also which is also Lady Asia okay and stay in touch with me and I cannot wait to see you guys in another video if you guys have any more recommendations for videos please let me know in the comments below don't forget to share this video with your friends turn on the notifications also when you subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up so I can reach a bit more people okay I think it's important for me now to take my channel a bit more serious and bring you guys some really good quality content here but I need to know what you want to see from me so comment below thank you for watching take care of yourself take care of your well-being because that is very very important until then bye